to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today, we're going to be back in our FPS reboot, the 5.2 reboot. And um, I know I've got to do with, deal with the jumping and the falling, finishing that off. But um, a few people had some questions around stamina and the near clip plane issue, where if I show you now, we can kind of see through walls occasionally if we do some running and stuff we can kind of you get this horrible effect with the camera kind of does clip occasionally uh also like things like with the hand now um these questions have all been given to me in the youtube comments but also in the discord so if you're not part of the discord check the description of this video there is a link to the discord we are a growing community of like-minded unreal engine developers so go and join You'll find loads of people who are all kind of starting their journey. They're all at different stages, but they're all in the same boat as you. We're all learning together. So go and go in there and check that out um, after this video, of course. So the first thing I'm going to deal with today is that near clipping issue. Now, there's a couple of uh, ways to kind of cut that out. The first being we have this near clip plane uh, setting. Now, this is going to be helpful for things like when you're holding guns and stuff you're going to want to set this to lower. And um, what that'll do is basically cut out where it, it, it kind of renders a certain distance from the camera. So if that's too high, you'll basically start getting issues where it's cutting off things like hands and guns and things like that, uh, that are showing up in front of the camera. So that will help with that. The other thing you can do is if you go to viewport, have a look at this collision box. So the first thing I can see is that actually our, our capsule component isn't long enough. So what we can do is we can set the half height to slightly larger and bring everything else down into that. So let's uh, first of all bring the capsule up a bit. Uh, maybe we need to just bring everything down a bit. Okay, fine. Uh, so now we've elongated that. Let's bring our character down a bit into that. Now it needs to sit just uh, at that point. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. That looks like it should be good. And as you can see, our camera is now, the, the vision of our camera is actually in the capsule component now. And what that'll do is it should, in theory, we'll test it out and it might need a bit of tweaking. Uh, so you're getting a little bit still. So what we can do is just bring the camera back a bit. You're never going to get rid of it completely uh, unless you fine tune this process of just kind of constantly bringing it back because what happens is if the capsule component collides that is a little better it needs a little bit more i, I think i'm going to end up seeing the nose now potentially let's try it there we go that's a lot better again it's still a little bit in the corners but it's a lot better than it was and a little bit more further tweaking and of course that'll fix that issue and that's what you kind of need to do to get rid of the near clipping issues um you can see I can see my hand better now. That's fixed as well. So that kind of near enough fixes this issue. Uh, again, I could also, if I want to just set that further, I could up the radius to a little bit more to stop any further overlap. If I set it to 45, um, it might be a bit too much. Yeah, it's fixed it. There you go. So the other thing you can look at is also uh, increasing that capsule radius just to keep things further away from the character. So that's fixed. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully, if you take the same methods, you'll be happy with that too. Um, the next thing we had is uh, I had a couple of questions around um, the stamina. One of those issues was um, if I show you how it is now, without the edits, if I run into the wall, I'm still losing stamina, even though I'm not even moving, but I'm still, it still thinks I am. The other thing was if I jump and I keep spamming jump like a maniac, I continuously lose stamina. Now, this was actually a relatively simple fix. The first thing I want to do is, um, I'll do the jumping first, because this is quite simple. We have a check here to see if we're crouching or if we're prone. But what we want to do is add one extra pin. So add, click on the add pin and that will bring you uh, an extra pin for a check. And what we're checking is we actually already have the system set up, but it's not being checked when we're 
actually jumping. It only checks it on here, on our event graph, just to, to fire the movement. And that's that is falling component. Uh, or node, just even. What we want to do is we want to add that check into here. So to do that, it's very simple. Just grab off your character movement to get do a get and pull off from the character movement and do is falling. And we're just going to check to see if we're falling as well. And this, in theory, should fix the multiple jumping issue. So if I start spamming it, it's only taking it once. It looks like it's not, but it actually is not doing it again until I land. So, yeah, so it's only doing it once now. That's good. So that fixes that issue. So if you're deciding to spam your jump like a madman, it won't clear off all of your <laughs> all of your stamina. So that fixes that issue, which is great. And uh, the other thing we want to do now is fix the um, running into walls, right? Um, and there is a... We're going to need an ore boolean node. So we're going to take that. Now we don't need this pin, so we can remove that pin. Uh, we want to we want to check to see is our stamina less than zero point one, uh, or we want to recheck this. Um, but we don't want it to be just that. What we need it to. I'm going to make a little bit more space because it's going to get confusing otherwise. Bring that up here. Uh, we want to see is not. We want a not boolean. Or is this not like this? Because if ever those ch values change, we need to basically cut the the, the sprinting short. Um, so yeah, just get your just copy it from down here. So basically, for those who haven't followed along, it's character movement. We get the velocity, we get the velocity length x, y, we check to see if it's greater than 0 0.1, and then we do a not, because we, we want this to not be the case. We don't want it to be higher than 0 0.1, and that way we can plug it into an or with this. If you don't want the not, you're going to have to have another branch, which is even more code, and, and it's a lot more messing around. So let's just test to see if this is working. Uh, we're running, we're running, we're running, we go into a wall. And it sets it to false. And our stamina stops moving. Now, I've actually taken one extra step here that I haven't shown. And the reason this is working now like this is because I have moved our sprint from... It was like this before. So in the last video, it was on started. And if you remember correctly, I was saying, I really want to find a way to get this working on a trigger so that I can hold it down and it just knows what to do well it's working now because we've added this into here so it's constantly checking on our timer to see if we're above 0 0.1 now we still need this here because we still want to be able to trigger it when we're moving so you'll need both of these uh for the first time we press it it needs to check that we're over 0 0.1 and we need it here to stop this from firing as well. We need it to dynamically flip flop it between us. So it, you need it in both places. Uh, I might see if I can simplify it with a little bit of playing around. But for now, this is working as intended. Uh, let's just, again, just give it a bit of a test. Okay, I'm running around, I'm losing stamina. If I go up to the wall, I start to gain stamina. But if I run away, I start to lose it again. If I jump, if I jump, I don't, I can't lose any more until I can jump again, which is when I'm on the ground. Um, and that's that. It, it seems to be working. And again, we now can see our hand correctly. And we are not, oh, if I stand up again. Oh, am I standing? Ah, what's going on? There we go. And I'm not getting that clipping issue I was getting before at all. So that should fix any issues you're having with clipping. Again, if I go up to this as well, I can't see into the corner like I could before. Um, and we're getting very reasonable uh, results. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, it was more just kind of like tweaking and adding some extra kind of checks in and obviously fixing that near clipping plane. Hopefully you found it useful. 
Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do, and you can always change your mind down the line. If you're here before, thank you so much for supporting my channel, and uh, I can't wait to see you all soon. Next video will be on falling um, and landing, and uh, yeah, hopefully it will it'll be out in a couple of days. Thank you so much, guys. Much love. Take care. Bye.